Hello, Sarah and Kevin here down at Market Wines. We're super excited because it's the last weekend before the holidays. Yeah, if you haven't guessed yet, this is the, uh, the holiday edition. The holiday edition. I don't think I can keep it together today. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> We're having too much fun. Good luck. Wait till the booze starts flowing. It's going to be even harder. <laughs> well, we got uh, four holiday themed wines picked out for you. We got everything from turkey wine to a little New Year's, a little bubble yeah. to greet the guests. So, uh, should we jump into it? You want to talk hours? What do you want to do? Yeah, so our holiday hours, we're open this weekend, regular hours Thursday through Sunday, so 10 a.m. till 5.30, and we're open an extra day, so we are open on Monday, December 23rd, wow. uh, for any last minute shopping that you need to do. Um, yeah, you'll beat the crowds, so it'll be a good day to pop in, and then we're closed from the 24th until January 1st, reopening January 2nd. A break for you. Well-earned break. It's been busy around here. It sure has. Yeah, it's been a great season, so it thank has. you. All right, should we jump into the wine? Yeah, we're talking right. turkey wines. Here we go. Stuff for the holidays. Weird that we're drinking Riesling again. Seems <laughs> like something we do a lot of around here. Why do we, why do we always pair Riesling with turkey? Oh, there's so many good reasons. I mean... Riesling really is, I think, probably the best food wine out there, though. Wouldn't you agree? I, I would. Mean, not just for turkey, but for pretty much everything. Number one, uh, it, it just has that nice little bit of uh, freshness, you know, that works with most dishes. That little hint, in this case, of residual sugar that works pretty well with the bird. In case you go all Clark Griswold on it, and <laughs> get her a little dry. <laughs> you want to make sure you don't pair it up with something that's also dry. So we want to stay away from things like Sauvignon Blanc. We want to stay away from things like Cabernet that has lots of tannin. Uh, Riesling is just like the perfect thing, right? Like, why make your life hard when you can make it easy? Drink some Absolutely. Riesling. This is an old favorite of ours too, the old Willie Hogg. Yeah. I've had this on my table about a hundred times over Christmas and This is a staple around here and it's it definitely kind of picks up steam in the over the holiday season because it's so perfect with For sure. even ham. Like if you're doing a nice roast oh, yeah. ham, be good with that. Um, with anything. Yeah. Find soups. something it doesn't go with. Yeah, yeah. Dairy. Good luck. <laughs> and just a little That's bit of awesome. sweetness. So you don't have to be afraid. You can say you don't like sweet wine, but yeah. still come in and try this and you're gonna love it. No, it's not like hearkening back to the peace porters of the 70s and 80s. Like this has just got just a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. So it's nice and fresh. It's really well balanced. Everyone's going to like that. Good I choice, agree. Sarah. Good Thank pick. you. All right. Well, Tavel, actually, I'll give you the little one. Notice you're drinking a little last Thursday, so I'll take the big one. You take the little one. I'm drinking for two. <laughs> or which, no. which is odd because it's like you're drinking for none now. I'm drinking so. for none. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Domaine Lafayne Tavel, this is another Fuck. staple for 2018. holiday season for turkey. Um, Tavel is one of our favorite rosés that we bring in. It's all they make in this region in the Rhone Valley. Mm -hmm. um, and it always produces a darker, more full-bodied rosé, which is great for food. Um, I think whether you're doing, like, prime rib, I'm salivating. It smells so good. Oh, my God. This um, is prime the, rib. This is the best version yet of this, I think. <laughs> it this gets is the first better time and better every year, Man. seriously. Yeah, you can pat I mean, that's the beautiful thing about this wine, right? I mean... It's closer to a red than a white at this point, mm -hmm. right? Like you can you can pair it up with stuff that you'd normally maybe pair a red with, or if you have people who can't drink red wine or don't like red wine, then this is your gateway to red wine right here. Totally, I love this. Might just stay there. It smells amazing. So I love good. it when this wine is fresh, you know, when it first comes in, because this flies off the shelf. We never have it in this, never have it in stock very long. So nice to uh, nice to get a fresh bottle. Comes and goes quick. I think this is going to my table this year. This is doing it for me. Oh. I'm liking this. I'll save it for March. Mm. <laughs> You're going to be a little light. It's going to be cheap ear for you, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love this rosé. Um, it's certified organic as well, and the Lafon family is converting to biodynamics. So if that's something you're interested in supporting as well, it's a good yeah. one to pick up. Absolutely. Another family winery over here with the Clotter Royette. This is always a big fave around here for uh, turkey dinner or any dinner. Totally. This was probably one of my favorite visits we had too when we were yeah. in France in 2014 was visiting Such a cool guy. Alain. it was magical he's a neat guy he's like the uh he's like the marquee of that area right everybody knows him everybody loves his wines nobody doesn't like Clorayat. I mean it's like the staple of Beaujolais right sometimes we get so many new cool producers in, in Beaujolais we forget about the old guard totally it's nice to come back to this because it's been a while since I've had this and man it is so fragrant so juicy it's like it's just like the perfect wine oh, to have on so the holidays. Good. It's like the cranberry sauce for your turkey dinner. It is. I can't imagine turkey dinner without 
Beaujolais. It's been like such a staple. I guess you're going to find out. My group better make sure that turkey's not dry because you don't have any of the uh, the wine to wash it down with. Yeah, this is a go to. And it's one of our favorite wine stories. So the story might be a little bit long for us to tell on camera today, but if you come in this weekend, we'll definitely share the special story of the whole horse story. With you. It's a good one. Yeah. What about pricing on these? What's the Willie going for these days? Uh, $23.95. And the Tavel? $26.95. And the Clodorette? $30. All right. So good prices. Yeah. Kick it up a little bit for Christmas dinner, do something a little bit nicer. But if you also want to hit some lower price points, we're gonna have a pile of wine open this weekend because we it's really are holidays, we? so we usually have like ten or fifteen things open. So yeah. if you just want to come down and taste wine, it's a good day to pop in and, uh, totally. and say hi. And you're gonna be shopping, and it's gonna be crazy, and you're gonna need mm-hmm. some alcohol. So yeah. come in and taste some wine. You will. And if you need any gifts, we've got more cool gifts this year, I think, than we've ever had before. We've got the vine boxes. We've got uh, we've got the little packs of canned wines, which are pretty fun. Good little stocking stuffers. Totally. We've got uh, we've got the advent calendar still. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. We've got the uh, advent calendar scotch. Yep. Editions. Scotch a couple calendars. of those left. Those have been flying this year. So lots of cool stuff. What about the bubbly? Last but not least. We don't even taste the bubbly. No. You, you pretty much taste that one every day. We know this one like the back of our hands. Yeah, I've um, had hundreds of bottles of this in my life. Seriously, sure. it's a staff favorite, staff yeah. go-to. It's nineteen ninety-five, which is crazy value for a traditional method wine from the south of France. I think this outsells all the other sparkling wines it totally we does. sell together. Like 10 to 1. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. I mean, if you just want something nice and sparkling to greet your guests with or something, you know, you can even make, at 20 bucks, you can make the most totally. out of it. It's got a great quality bubble. It's from the south of France in the village of Limou, which is really actually quite famous for sparkling wine. One of the first places in the world they actually made sparkling wine. It's made with a local grape there called Mozac, which is kind of cool. It's got like a really bright, fresh acidity to it. And the and the quality of that is bananas for, for 20 yeah. bucks, I think, so... You really can't beat that. So there you go. Everything you need for the holidays, little New Year's Eve bubbles. It's Christmas morning bubbles. We won't see you again till the new year, will we? No. We're all sad. Right. Super sad. I'm sad. Me too. Well, I guess we'll <laughs> wish you uh, uh, happy holidays. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And happy New Year. See you in the new year. Thanks. <laughs>